What up YouTube, it's your boy Chuckin' on the Budget back with another video for you guys. I'm coming to you guys today uh, to let you know that I actually uh, ran into a congressman last night. Well, actually, he wasn't quite a congressman yet. He's actually running for Congress uh, out of New York. Um, he basically was here, um, I guess, to discuss some things. I want to say up on Capitol Hill. But uh, he and I talked for like 25 minutes, man, about, you know, everything going on in the industry. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like cool to talk to him and stuff. And uh, he basically was like telling me about some things in reference to what he's dealing with. And I told him about the things that I was dealing with, you know, in reference to this whole um, trucking stuff. And uh, told him how I was trying to get back into the... Uh, the whole you know the, the industry as a whole you know being able to get a truck and everything and uh he was asking me questions in reference to like what trucks were going for and um you know what uh things that were needed to basically get that sort of thing going and so um like i said you know we talked and um you know he made me feel like he was interested but you never know when it comes to people but at the same time like i feel like you know if he if he could i feel like if he was a, a maryland congressman or somebody running for maryland congress or whatever you know i feel like it would be a better opportunity to basically um meet this guy and basically get some things going you know because as we all know, man, it's it's been really tough out here, you know, especially if you're new in this industry. Um, so I don't know. I'm I just been out here just trying to, you know, meet different people and and, and uh, be able to um, network, you know. So doing everything I can to pretty much, you know, get myself back in the door. You know, it, it hasn't been easy and working my ass off you know just doing multiple things so praying one way or the other your boy is gonna be back in there you know so i just i need somebody that's gonna listen somebody that's gonna basically you know make things happen and uh you know point me in the right direction that's all i ask for really it's just to point me in the right direction you know let me know where i can go to get the funding i need to basically get uh, my trucks now some people have asked or said to me you know how come you just don't go out there and just go get your cdl crazy thing is i already have my clp but it's not a matter of me getting my cdl it's, it's because you know i'm trying to have my own thing i'm not really trying to work for anybody else anymore i don't want to work for another company or organization or you know anything like that i want to have my own thing going on so that i have my own trucks paid for you know uh everything like as far as like i said i want to have me a, a fleet of trucks i want to have drivers i want to have my stuff in order like the one thing i can say about that company that i was actually uh um, working for is that they i think they've been around for like what 14 years or whatever but they had their stuff in such order and to the point where it's like you know I saw the paperwork that they basically was like giving the employees and stuff to to the point I was like, damn, you know, I need to be able to do that. I need to be able to have, you know, have it to where it's like paperwork is in order to the point where it's like for legal purposes and everything else so that, you know, um, when that time comes, the only thing I did see is that I didn't see anything in reference to insurance with them. So I'm not really sure what that's about um but i felt like you know in a doing that type of work you know people can get hurt easily you know so i'm like you know insurance should have definitely been something that they had a, had in place for their employees and it, it also makes me um you know because i know when i was actually doing all this stuff for my company you know of course you know they said okay do you have um workman's comp and stuff like that so sorry about that <clears throat> um i had to pick up a rider as you probably heard 
but um, I was talking about workman's comp and uh, so like uh, I would get questionnaires where they ask, you know, do you have uh, workman's comp for your employees? And at the time I was the only one working. So no, I didn't have workman's comp, but you know, now I kind of understand like if I'm planning on growing a, a huge company, that one, I need to have workman's comp. I need to have like uh, insurance and stuff like that in place, I guess for, you know, um, now not insurance, I'm sorry, like uh, health benefits and things of that nature in, in place for my employees. So for me to have been, you know, doing this, uh, working inside the warehouse and all that stuff and knowing that it, how easy it is to, you know, get hurt, I was like, wow, you know, that's another thing that I didn't even really think about is that you need to make sure that you, uh, you know, once you can get things going, make sure that you have some sort of uh, health coverage for your your people. Um, so, but anyways, back to this this uh, congressman candidate. You know, um, he's a he's a really decent guy. You know, like I said, I really enjoy talking to him, and and we talked about so much in reference to the industry. I hope I'm not butchering his name, but his name is Francis Canole. Um, like I said, he's running out of New York. Um, so if you're in New York or in the surrounding areas, and if you um, come November and you are looking to vote for someone for Congress or whatever, uh, vote for my guy, man. Francis Canole is his name. Uh, he seems to be a decent guy. I'm um, hoping everything works out for him you know, as far as the, uh, the whole um, the, the, the selection process. So, as you hear, I got to get to this and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. I met some uh, pretty decent people today and um, just a few. Um, one lady, I actually picked her up or whatever and she's from um, Georgia. And she was telling me that she had actually um, was like listening to my voice and she says, you know, you know, where are you from? And I was like, and I told her where I was from and then she says, wow, you know, because you have like a radio personalities voice, you know. Um, she says, your voice is like kind of deep and it's uh, real subtle and some more stuff. And I was like, wow, I said, that's a first. And you know, I never heard anybody say that I was uh, had a radio personality type voice or whatever. She says, yeah. And I said, well, I do have a YouTube channel, you know. And she's like, really? So gave her that information. So, you know, um, like I said, it's uh, pretty cool just to meet people like her. But then I met another gentleman who um, he told me he just got back from Asia. And I said, what part of Asia he came from? And he said, he said, well, I was in uh I think he said he was in Hong Kong and then he was also in South Korea and <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. He, he was in China and then he was in South Korea. But also he said that like over there in the Hong Kong area, I believe he said that one day have a, a new president, President Xi, I believe his name is, and said that before she came along that the Chinese uh, citizens used to walk through the streets and stuff like that and they would have they would be able to stop them and ask them for like their papers or information like that and they wouldn't mess with like Americans or any foreigners um, you know coming into that country well because of she said that basically uh, they basically now started to accost anybody that's walking through the street so and they also have this thing called the um, social social uh credit score or something like that yeah social credit score so what that means is say you're walking uh in the street and you cross the street and you're jaywalking one they have these cameras set up all over the place so it takes a picture of you 
And so if you if you're seeing jaywalking, you know that your picture, I mean your your picture pops up on these big monitors all throughout the city, basically showing people the the whatever offense that you made. And so basically, you know, that's that goes against your credit score. Then say, for instance, you're behind on your mortgage and you late on payments for any reason. That also goes against your credit score. Say you go into a bar and say you get kicked out or anything crazy like that. It goes against your credit score. So say your credit score would start where it's in the green, yellow and red. And if you're in green, you're good. You can go move about freely. And the yellow, you know, you, you have some limitations. But once it gets to the red, they stop you from going into any type of establishment. You can't go to stores and buy things. You can't travel, do anything like that. So it's absolutely crazy, um, you know, how um, they do things over there. And so many people in this country, they bitch and complain about stuff, but don't realize how actually good we have it. I met another lady who was from Israel and she was telling me that everyone in her country Male or female, if you're a male right out of high school, you got to join the army for three years. A female, army for two years. And you don't get to select which branch of service you want to go into. They select it for you. So everyone joins the army and say you doing well in a certain area. They can pull you from that, that the army or whatever and put you into like the Marines or the Navy and put you into whatever field they want you to be in. And you have to do it. Um, and also over in Israel too, like... To become an officer, you don't have to have college uh, credits or anything like, or, or go to college and have a degree. They basically pull you from the ranks and make you an officer after like six months from what she was saying. But you know, I was telling her here, it's not the same thing. But like I said, man, it's so much stuff that I've learned just from doing this Uber stuff. Um, met some really decent and nice people or whatever. And, um, but yeah, man, I'm telling you, like, you know, I don't plan on doing this Uber thing for a long time, but, you know, I have uh, um, really enjoyed meeting people and learning different things. So um, and a lot of people hear my story and believe me when I tell you um, the encouragement from everyone is like, you know, feels good. So I'm definitely going to um, apply everything that I've learned and prayerfully, you know, like I always say, man, I want to get back in my truck and I cannot wait. I cannot wait, you know, and I've been hearing from some of my, my uh, subscribers wanting me to go get my uh, CDL or go to a school rather so that I can drive for another company. I mean, yeah, I get that and I want to do that and, at times, but at the same time, I know what I want and I want my own company. Oh, by the way, um, so I met this young lady um, and I'm not going to say which uh, newspaper she works for because I want to keep that private for her. but. Uh, she worked for she's a journalist, you know, and so so crazy that like last night I met this uh, guy uh, running for Congress um, and his name is Francis, by the way, and to the point where it's, I don't know if you guys ever watched the show House of Cards, but on the House of Cards, you had uh, Francis, who was I think he was a senator starting out or a congressman or whatever, and then he became president eventually. But then you had Chloe, who was the journalist. And so the fact that I met a guy named Francis who was running for Congress last night and then to meet Chloe today, who is uh, a journalist. I, I mean, well, her name wasn't Chloe, but I I, I told her I would call her Chloe. But uh, yeah, it was kind of kind of cool. And and I told her about that and she was like, wow. But, you know, she's also saying like and I understood where she's coming from because she is like, you know, she fear like telling people, you know, what it is that she actually does. You know, I told her, you know, coming from my background, I I absolutely understand because in this world that we live in today is not easy and everybody wants to judge you based off of what you do for a living. But sadly enough, most times we're not even those type of people. We're we're really good people and we have great intentions and um, you know, and we're looking to help, you know. And she told me about some things, you know, that um, it's like, wow, you know, it, it's sad, you know, really, when you think about it, you know, how people treat other people, whether in our country or other countries or whatever the case may be. So, um, like I said, she, Chloe, she's uh, she's also a very decent person. And uh, I wish her the best in her journalism and her you know, request to, um, you know, put the news and things out there. So. 
Uh, you be safe out there, Chloe, and uh, I wish you the best with everything that you do and all that. But with that being said, man, I'm going to end this video, man. I'm going to try to, you know, get through this day. So far, doing pretty good. And uh, prayerfully, I'm going to end with a bang. Um, it still hasn't gotten into rush hour yet. So hopefully during rush hour, I get some really good rates. But um, so you're not going to believe this, man. So I had to go pick up. Uh, well, actually, I, ha I had to drop somebody off at Dulles Airport. And um, then I will pick someone up from Dulles Airport moments later and i'm driving along and i'm talking to this guy and everything and uh basically you know started telling him about uh the congressman elect or i'm sorry congressman um candidate that i met last night and uh he was like uh he said big guy and i was like uh yeah he says uh he said something else but then he's like francis and i was like Man, it was so damn crazy to the point where it's like they actually knew each other. They were in the military together, some more stuff. And uh, the other crazy part about it was that it turns out that the three of us were on board the USS Wasp at one point, but like at different times. And, uh, you know, to the point where it's like, it turns out these two were like really good friends. I'm like, what a small ass world. Uh, the, 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 the guy I met today, he actually lives in this area, you know, and, and, um, uh, Francis actually lives upstate New York. So again, it's just a very small world. Like, and, uh, he actually reached out to Francis. I reached out to him, whatever, basically letting him know that we met and everything, but, man, it was just kind of cool. I'm like, man, I don't know if you guys ever watched the, uh, show house of cars, but like I said, man, it, it was just crazy because, you got Francis and you got Chloe and then you got Francis friend, you know, so I was just like, wow, man, it's just, it's just absolutely crazy, man. But anyway, that's going to be the end of my video, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it for all those of you that are new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, share this video with all your friends, your family members, your boo-boos and bum buns. Um, but yeah, like I always say, man, keep trucking and stay safe out there. Begging, I'm